know, <clears throat> some people might think that JT, the bigger figure, is crazy as fuck. And this nigga is just on drugs, just talking reckless and not saying some real shit. But like I said before, JT, the bigger figure, is a very intelligent human being. If you want to learn anything from music from him, you can learn, just look at it, you can learn a lot of shit from uh, JT the Bigger, if you put it that way. Um, he's speaking on Robin, Prime Minister, you know what I mean, Prime Minister went on the radio station recently and was talking about how he got robbed from him, but I mean, he flat out just said, yeah, I got him, nigga, like, what's up? Um, then he was talking about the J Dig situation with Matt Dre. Now, um, I have to say I heard something like that before. I heard something like that before. Um, this dude I know a long time ago told me the story. He he was locked up. Um, he was locked up with J Diggs. J Diggs, real ass nigga. You know what I mean? Solid ass nigga. Like, there's no smell in his name. Re represented well in the pen. Represented well in the streets. Like, there's nothing you can really say, you know what I'm saying, about J. Diggs that's not solid when it comes to some street shit. But, you know, I mean, from what dude was telling me is that, you know, uh, back in, back when it was having the romp room, that's why they really don't really talk about that shit too much. Like, you notice that. They don't never really talk about romper room too much. Like, they don't never really talk. Like, they might tell you little ins and outs, but they never really tell you about romper room. You know what I mean? Because they was hitting licks, like, left and right. Like, real shit. Like, really hitting licks. And how they got recognized is through Mac Dre. Mac Dre was rapping about it. Romper room gang. We romper room gang. Nigga, we hitting pizza touch and all that shit. Well... With him rapping about Romper Room and him rapping about all that shit going down, that shit got the niggas indicted. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, you start from there. You know what I mean? Matt Dre got five years. You know? Nigga J. Diggs got like 12 years, came out. You know what I mean? They rocking together and all that shit, but... I mean, if you want to know some more information, start right there. Like, I like to lead people. I like to lead people to puzzles and mysteries. You know what I mean? I like to just throw shit out there in the air and let motherfuckers think for their own self. But like I said, romper room, nigga. Matt Dre, one of the first niggas to get on the mic. Bobby Smurder, niggas. You feel me? He Bobby Smurder his team. You know what I mean? Rapping about all the licks they was doing. They was going from city to city. This nigga performing, they hitting licks. Every city performing, they hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? Like he rap, he rapped about the shit, and that's how they got caught on to it. He Bobby Smurder the romper room. You know what I mean? Like, this is some real shit. Like, you know, I'm an old-ass nigga, so I could tell y'all some shit. Shit. Yeah, but JT, man, like... I don't know. I don't know. You know, maybe he feels bad for, you know, Matt Dre or what's going on. I don't know what's going on as far as, like, how his daughter's getting treated or how his car got dead and, and all that stuff. I don't really know the ins and outs about that, you know what I mean, I'm not from Vallejo, so I don't know the ins and outs about what happened to Matt Dre's estate when he passed away, but, you know, JT the bigger figure really feels some type of way about, you know, how Matt, Tr Matt Dre's daughter's being treated, so, I mean, he's getting on Jay Diggs about that, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I just wish that I just wish that, you know, Northern California is just not represented this bad to the point where everybody's feuding with each other and everybody has all types of crazy words. It's the OGs, too, man. It's not no young niggas. Like, it's not no young niggas starting no feud out here. It's all these old-ass niggas starting feuds and shit, trying to expose some old-ass stories, man. Man, shit, shit got to get better than this, man. Get back to music.